You spend so much time cooped up in studios. It must be nice to be able to get out there in front of an audience and bring your music to them. You know what's really great, and you're absolutely, you hit it right on the head, because for so many years I was in a room like this with no windows, making music, pounding it out, music by the pound, it felt like, and I love it, don't get me wrong. But it was just time, you know, and you don't know who you're reaching. You know, I'd get a, a letter once in a while and then emails, but you never know who you're reaching. And then to actually go out there, play for 10,000 people, and people come up to you and go, wow, that song, the glory of love, I mean, I got married to that song, or I walked down the aisle to the thing, or my grandmother died and the song she wanted to hear was the prayer, and it's like, you get this one-on-one. -on -one. I really get now what artists are talking about when they say they love touring. Mm -hmm. This show, actually, David Foster and Friends, that's going on the road, starting October 21st in Chicago, uh, and we end in Vancouver, my home, on November 8th. Um, the show came out of the, a, show, a PBS show I did last year called Hitman mm -hmm. and Friends, um, which had, was kind of my funeral while I was alive. It was kind of cool. Everybody paying tribute to me as though I was dead, but I was actually right there on the stage playing with them. So this is kind of a pared-down version of that. And uh, we have Earth, Wind and Fire, uh, Philip Bailey, um, Peter Satira from the group Chicago, all the songs he and I wrote in the 80s, Michael Johns and Ruben Stoddard from American Idol that will cover some of my urban stuff and my rock stuff, not that I did that much rock stuff. Um, we have the Canadian tenors who are amazing four singers that sing like Bocelli. Um, and Sharice, the 17-year-old phenom from the Philippines, who the last time we spoke, we hadn't started her album, and now her album's almost finished, and she is, she's incredible. It's like, it's like the first time I saw Celine. It feels the, exactly the same to me. One of the things that I do love doing, as we talked about, is trying to nurture and discover new talent, and it's, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, so I thought, or somebody smarter than me thought, why not have a contest in every city and... Uh, and pick a winner, and that winner could be part of the show. It could be a man, it could be a woman, they could be old, they could be young, they could be an instrumentalist, they could be a singer. And um, I'm going to pick a winner, and they're going to be part of the show, and I think it's exciting. And then also that networking. You know, people, a lot of people don't realize that they, they ask me, like, well, what's one of the keys to getting ahead? Networking. How did you get this job? You networked, right? Networking is just so important. So they come, they experience the thing for two days. They sit with Ruben Stoddard. Maybe he wants to do a duet with somebody just like that person. They end up doing a duet that catapults both of them into another level. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. It's good to be around me, I think. Is that wrong to say that? No. Oh. Okay. That's totally you to say that. <laughs>